Hi guys, in this video we're going to start an example that uh, hopefully together we'll see is perfect for applying a two-way or two-factor ANOVA technique to. Okay, so let's read this example together and familiarize ourselves with the data. <clears throat> So there's an experiment designed to evaluate three laundry detergents. A laboratory ran three loads of washing at each combination of detergent, so there's three detergents, and water temperatures. And uh, they don't tell us yet, but there's going to be three water temperatures. We could sneak a peek at the data and see that. And obtain the following whiteness reading. So whiteness reading is a numerical variable, a higher number, indicates a whiter um, piece of fabric uh, on, the out, on the outcome of a wash. Okay, so just let's look at the data. I've actually presented the data in two separate ways here. So here it's nice and summarized for us already. Okay, here it's more in raw form. So Let's look, take a look at both. Uh, just be familiar with both of these. Okay, so first off, uh, we've given a little description here, and this amounts to this data here. So we have three detergents, A, B, and C, right, for lack of their actual names. And water temperature is mentioned. We have three water temperatures. So we have cold, warm, and hot okay okay so for each as the wording of the problem says for each laundry detergent we have we're gonna wash um, a load of laundry in each of the temperatures water temperatures so and not only that we'll repeat that a few times so let's just take one example and, and look at it carefully so we have detergent A and cold water so what we do is we do three separate loads with detergent A and cold water and these are the results of that of those three loads so this is this represents a combination of detergent and water temperature and here are the data that we collected at that combination okay then we continue to do that for each combination of detergent and water temperature finally until we have detergent C hot water temperature we do three loads and these are the whiteness readings from those three separate loads Okay, so that's to familiarize yourself with what this data is that we're looking at. Down here, as you see, it's the same exact data set, same whiteness readings, except presented in a more raw form. This one's much more organized and compact. Okay, so just be comfortable looking at either. All right, so here you see we have water temperature, cold, detergent A, whiteness reading, 45. Water temperature, cold, detergent A again, whiteness reading 39 That's these two so far cold a 46 cold B 43 cold B 46 all the way down to hot C 35 which is this guy now this didn't have to be in this perfect nice order corresponding to this kind of movement of the the numbers this could have been scrambled all up they didn't have to do three loads of laundry with detergent a and cold water temperature at this in it, it consecutively they could have they could have done the experiment any which way they they um, the researchers wanted to for example they could have done um, detergent a and um, water temperature cold and got this reading then they could have gone to detergent B and done water temperature warm and then they could have stayed at detergent B water temperature hot switched to detergent C water temperature cold and just basically mixed it up until they came up with all this data and all this data over here okay so however they came about the data this is it 
and this is what we have to work with and what did it what is it that exactly that we want to do well you can kind of guess well to be specific we want to use a 1% level of significance remember that's alpha to test whether there are differences in a few things so first we want to see if there's differences between the detergents so we want to see if all the detergents perform the same or not next we want to see if there's differences due to the water temperature so we want to see if all the water temperatures produce the same whiteness reading the same results in washing okay and finally when we have two um, factors there's a possibility that they interact with each other so we want to see if there's any differences due to interactions between the detergents and the water temperatures for example maybe hypothetically detergent C performs very well when you wash in a cold in cold water but performs very poorly in hot water whereas detergent A might perform very well in warm water and very poorly in cold water. So the hypothetical example I just started to explain gives you the idea that it depends. You can't say detergent A is better or B is better or C is better. You can't say water temperature cold, warm or hot. Either of those is better because it depends which detergent. Some detergents work better with some temperatures and uh, and so on. Okay? That that is the idea of interaction. We don't know if that exists. That was just a hypothetical example. There's ways to test for that, and we're going to do that. Okay? So we're going to do all our tests at a level of significance of 1%. That's alpha 0.01. Okay? So what I want to do in this video for the remainder of this part is to just set up those hypothesis tests. So basically, these three items here testing for the differences between the detergents, testing for the differences between the water temperatures, and testing whether there is an interaction are three separate hypothesis tests where that a two-way ANOVA will be able to handle. Okay, But before we jump in to those hypothesis tests, let's understand the structure of this data and the structure actually of the two-way ANOVA that we're about to perform. Okay. So what are the factors? So factor A. Well, it doesn't matter which factor you talk about first. So factor A could be either detergent or water temperature. It doesn't really matter. I would just say, if you want to keep with the convention that I use, that if I present the data in this form, generally, this kind of summarized form, as opposed to this form, try to pick the factor that's organized on the first column as your factor A, because that's what I'll tend to do. So for me, factor A is water temperature. So let's just abbreviate water temp. How many levels does it have? Well, it's got three levels, right? Cold, warm, and hot. So these are the levels, right? Just like in one way ANOVA, where we had one factor that had levels, now we have two factors that have levels, each having their own levels. Okay, so that's uh, water temp. Then by default, factor B for us is going to be detergent. The factor that's organized up here on the first row. Okay? You really could have gone either way and picked, switched these two up, but I, as a convention, I'm going to tend to choose this way. Okay? So detergent happens to be organized on the top row so I'm gonna call that my factor B and its levels are A, B, and C so both these factors have three levels okay 
So remember, we, we had a couple symbols we've learned from our notes. R is the number of levels of factor A, so that's 3. C in two-way ANOVA was the number of levels for factor B. That also happens to be 3 in this example. Um, N prime, okay, so something slightly different. N prime, remember, was the number of replications. Or in other words, the number of values or observations for each combination of a particular level of factor A and a particular level of factor B. So let's just pick a particular level of factor A. So cold, okay. And a particular level of factor B, take detergent B, does not matter. And count how many replications there are. There are three. And you could have done that with any combination of the two factors and you would have got three. So we replicated three times at each combination. Okay? And finally, to round out the symbols that we've, the new symbols that we learned for two-way ANOVA, N. N is the total number of observations in the entire experiment, regardless of which levels. Okay? So that amounts to counting all this data or just realizing that it's there's three in each level there are three levels for factor A and three levels for factor B so it's probably going to be three times three times three right but let's just confirm that there's nine 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 so that is correct there's 27 total observations in the in, in this entire experiment Okay, and the variable, oh, let's not forget that, the dependent variable, right, has to be numerical, and in fact it is, let's just make this completely clear and explicit here, the variable here is whiteness reading. So I don't know exactly how they do the whiteness reading, I imagine there's some kind of fancy um, light ray that um, gives you back a number, higher number indicating closer to brilliant white. Okay? So, whether you're looking at the data like this, it's nice and summarized, or in a much more raw form, you can understand the same things that we've developed here, okay? You just have to go about it in a slightly different way, or reorganize it to make it look like this before you proceed, okay? It, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop here and do the, in the next video start writing out the hypothesis tests for um, the three hypothesis tests for the two way ANOVA that we're about to do. Okay? So watch part two as a continuation.